We got an email this week from Burma. Komaji wants to know about the transportation and security for the President of the United States. When President Obama has to fly somewhere, the Air Force normally provides the ride. When the President is in an Air Force plane, it is called Air Force One. The name is a radial call sign. An Air Force website says the call sign Air Force One was first used in the 1950s. But the president usually flies on one of two specially designed planes. The two Boeing 747 planes are very famous. The words "United States of America" are painted on the side of both planes. There are also images of the American flag and the presidential seal. Air Force One has even been the subject of a movie of the same name. Harrison Ford starred in this 1997 action film, in which terrorists try to hijack the president's airplane. It was my family. They took him to another part of the plane. We haven't seen him since. We've got weapons now. We should try to retake the plane. Not while they've got Grace and Alice. I can't take that chance. What about trying to disable the plane and force them to land? I tried to do that. I've done some fuel. Now they're going to refuel us in midair. The presidential airlift group is responsible for the operation and care of the two Boeings. The planes can fly halfway around the world without refueling. But even if they do need more fuel, they do not have to land to get it. The Air Force will send up other planes loaded with fuel for Air Force One. The plane can be refueled while in flight. The presidential planes are very big. Each has more than 370 square meters of space on three levels. The president has a large office, conference room, and living area. There are also two kitchens that can prepare meals for large groups, and there is a room for medical treatment, even surgery. A doctor travels on all the president's flights. The planes are kept at Andrews Air Force Base near Washington. Sometimes the president's air travel does not require a big plane. This is when the Marine Corps steps in. It provides helicopter flights for the president. Can you guess the name of a Marine Corps helicopter when the president is a passenger? Yes, Marine One. When the Marine Corps is flying the president, several other helicopters fly nearby. This helps protect the president's helicopter from possible attack. The Marine Corps makes local travel pretty simple for the president. It picks him up and drops him off right on the grounds of the White House. The president also has an armored limousine for local road travel. The armored vehicle has been nicknamed the Beast. For longer road trips, the president has armored black buses that are called Ground Force One when the president is on board. However, he travels. The president of the United States never leaves home without guards. We will tell about the president's protectors, the Secret Service, next week.